Hey there, fellas. You're watching the Garage 54 YouTube channel, and I'm your host, Vlad. Okay, so here's what I'd like to show you guys today. This is actually a pretty old idea. We were thinking about doing this before the new year, so I started preparation prior to the new year. But after that, the temperature would either go below or above freezing, denying us the opportunity to make this happen. But these last few days, we've been seeing a stable minus 12 to 15 degree temperature in Celsius, which should work for us. So here's the plan. What I've done here is taken these two wheels and placed them onto the roof. We don't have too much snow up here, since we've constantly got the heater going. Instead of snow, we mostly have ice up here. As you can see, I've made a few holes in these two tires. If you look at them from this angle, I'm sure you can see what's up. I've used the holes to fill them with some water. Right now these tires are filled with ice. You see where this is going, right? Now it's a matter of removing them, cutting off the rubber, fitting the wheels to a car and going for a ride. Well, at least we'll try. There's only one problem. So I climbed onto the roof to try and dig them out. Turns out they're stuck. Which is a major bummer. Regardless, we have to find some way to get them out. Okay, one down. There we go. The other one's out. We've got ourselves some nice tires here. Oh, wow. I can tell you straight away that they're much lighter than the ones filled with concrete. The concrete ones were much heavier. Okay, so first I carefully roll them towards that pile of snow. Rolling them around seems easy, but they do get stuck. And down we go. So when I first drop these wheels to ground level from that roof, it turns out it's especially clear with this one. Anyways, so when the water hadn't frozen yet, a bit of that water leaked out from the tires. So they weren't filled up all the way, which meant I had to top them off. This wheel was missing quite a lot, while the other one accepted just a tiny bit. Now I just leave them here. I've placed them onto the snow as evenly as I could. You can tell by the water whether they're level or not. And now we wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow this should... I mean to say that today overnight, this should completely freeze over. And when tomorrow rolls around, we fit them to a car and have some fun. We're obviously gonna have to cut the tires off first. You guys keep watching. Okay, fellas, so here's the situation. The water has frozen up nicely. Now there's ice in there. So this morning, it took a while for us to find a patch of road for us to do some donuts. It's just that we have so much snow lying around, but we were able to find one. I reckon it should do. So now I cut the tires off, so that you can see for yourselves that there's ice in there. An office knife should do the trick. Let me just make an incision. For you to see what's up. Damn it. What the hell? It's gotten so cold that cutting it has become a problem. It won't give up that easily. There we go. Take a look. Now you can see the ice. It's not completely even, but no worries. Making some tires out of ice. Originally uploaded to the Russian channel in January 2017. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. So after going through that short and simple process, we're left with this. I've cut the sidewalls off on both sides. Here you can see some ice, which is a bit dirty. Whatever. The second wheel looks exactly the same. Okay, so now it'll be interesting 
I'll probably take the tread off of one wheel while leaving the rubber intact on the second one, just to see which one will fall apart first. It's obvious that the ice isn't going to give us any grip, but we are running a welded dev. So it really doesn't make that big of a difference. One of these should give us some traction. Then again, these do look like summer tires, or maybe all season. Nah, this one is definitely a summer tire. I guess we cut the tread off of this one and leave this one alone. Let's do this. Okay, so now we're looking at this fun little piece of work. See this? This is from when we first poured some water in there. And this layer is from when we topped it off. Now that water was murky and had some snow in it, while well, this is clean. Looks pretty cool. You can see right through it in the sunlight. Right, time to stop admiring it and throw it on. Okay, so we finally finished all the preparations. The ice tires have been installed. Here we have our patch of road, and the car is all warmed up. Let's have a go and see what happens. Yeah, no grip whatsoever. Come on, at least go somewhere. Okay, now what do we do? It sure digs in there, doesn't it? That's it, we're stuck.
Check this out, guys. The ice tires are holding up quite nicely. I was jumping around on those bumps. It couldn't really get going. We had to push the car a bit. It's fine if you're going downhill, of course. Anyways, so I drove into a groove and even plowed through a bit of snow, and the tire looks okay. Let me fix that with a hammer. There we go. Maybe I shouldn't completely destroy it and just drive around first. Okay, now I give the car some gas. Fingers crossed that it falls apart. I reckon it should. <laughs> Even a small crack in the ice turned out to be enough. Check this out. It fell apart almost immediately. The ice itself turned out to be quite nice. I don't quite get... I should read into how they make it transparent. This has some bubbles in it, so it's not exactly transparent. Anyway, so we achieved what we were aiming for. We just witnessed how that ice tire grenaded without the rubber layer. Now we try... I mean, why stop at that? I should try breaking this one. It is being held together by something. Maybe I should drive around a bit more. Oh, wow. We already have a crack. We have some cracking going on in there. Let me just give it another smack for good measure. That should do it. Now it's time to go for a drive. Let's do this. So here's what's up. I gave the wheels a few hits with a hammer. And the ice still isn't falling apart. I really should finish the job. There are cracks all over the place. But it still won't fall apart. Oh man. That'll do. I think I should stop right there. The ice is cracked all around, and it's swollen so hard that it's stretching... Yeah, that sounds about right. It's actually stretching the rubber. There is a metal cord in there. I'll give it some beans anyway. I'm sure it'll fall apart. Despite giving it our best efforts, as you can plainly see, you can pick the ice out of there, but it still doesn't evacuate when the wheel is spinning. The rubber layer is successfully holding it all in there, the tire tread that we decided to leave in place. Whatever's left of the tire is compressing the ice and keeping it from flying out. Now that wheel, after taking a single blow, exploded pretty much right away. But we can't repeat the same result here. The ice just stays put. The moral of the story, of course, being that these wheels are very much suitable for driving in the north, even if ride comfort is a bit rough. They obviously don't smoothen out the bumps. So on these wheels, it won't be long before the suspension falls apart. All right, fellas. That concludes today's experiment. We've successfully destroyed one tire, while the other one is still in one piece. I guess it's time to wrap this up. Watch our videos, subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, leave some comments and suggestions. Alright, catch you later.